Mornings Live at 5.30. We can query our database until the cows come home, but we're, we're not going to, we'll, there'll be nothing show up. That's FBI Director James Comey testifying in front of Congress that there's no way to properly screen Syrian refugees. Thank you for joining us. Today, Valley News Team's immigration and relocation reporter Bradford Eric took part in a conference call with former State Department and top Homeland Security officials. The focus of the call was to address the refugee screening process, addressing questions related to just how thorough that process is. Bradford joins us now with more. Bradford. Andrea, it was a public relations move to quell the fears of many people that terrorists will slip through what has already been called a deeply flawed process. The various proposals in Congress are deeply disturbing, and it is playing into the hands of ISIS with our refusal of refugees. That's how former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright categorized the situation facing the country. Albright kicked off this conference call denouncing the American SAFE Act of 2015. That's the House legislation that would require each new refugee to be personally screened by the Director of National Intelligence. Up next was Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. He's been criticized and investigated by his own agency, accused of playing political favorites while in charge of a controversial immigration program. Mayorkas laid out in little detail the process a refugee must undertake to properly be allowed resettlement in the United States. Again, FBI Director James Comey testified in front of the House to Homeland Security Committee that Syrian refugees cannot be properly screened. Yes, I think that's the challenge we're all talking about, is that we can only query against that which we have collected. And, and so if someone has never made a ripple in the pond in Syria in a way that would get their identity or their interests reflected in our database, we can query our database until the cows come home, but we're, we're not going to, we'll, there'll be nothing show up because we have no record on that person. That's what uh, Assistant Director Steinbach was talking about. You can only query what, what you've collected. And, and with respect to Iraqi refugees, we had far more in our databases because of our country's work there uh, for a decade. This is a different situation. Make sure that during the Q&A portion of the call, the first reporter asked Deputy Secretary Mayorkas about these comments by the director. Mayorkas said Comey referenced gaps in the vetting process that he perceived to be existing, adding that the screening process has included additional database checks for Syrian and Iraqi refugees already. Several questions later, it was asked if a Syrian refugee is not in any of the databases, will they still be admitted? Deputy Secretary Mayorkas danced around the question, saying the person would be checked against all databases for criminal history, visa denials, and other various information. But if they don't show up, May Mayorkas said the absence of information does not mean a vacuum, adding that each person is still interviewed in person and that admission to the U.S. is not based solely on a person's own account. The Obama administration continues to defend the screening process as the most rigorous questioning process in place today. All right, thank you, Bradford, for that live report. For more information related to the actual process that someone must undertake to be admitted to the country as a refugee, we have attached a link to information from the White House outlining that process. Just visit valleynewslive.com and click on this story.